Hello everyone and welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. Today we're going to be talking about math expression. It's a node that is very, very useful for keeping your blueprints tidy as you work within them. And if you're finding yourself trying to work out any sort of formulas, or maybe you're like with the Pokemon clone, you're working out sort of lots of different formulas that the old Pokemon games used to work in. Instead of doing everything node by node, you can actually do this, um, use this node to kind of shorten everything to come under one node. And we're going to do a couple of examples uh, to illustrate what we can do within this node. So let's come up with a formula. So for example, let's use the Pokemon clone um, to do this. So one of the first things we have now, again, I could be getting this wrong because I can't remember the exact expression off the top of my head, but we could do uh, HP times four. Then we may want to say, okay, we'll put that into brackets so that um, we can then work on the next part of the code. So we say, okay, HP times four. Let's say it, our health is 50. That's going to be 200. Then we want to divide it by our, I don't know, current level. Like so. Uh, once we've divided by our current level, let's say our current level is 6. That's going to be, no, let's do something easier. I don't know. Uh, let's say it's 10. That would give us uh, 5, I believe. No, 200 would be 20. Sorry, 20. Um, so we're left with 20. Then we want to do um, plus um, attack divided by defense uh, and then we just want to plus 10 sounds very very confusing I know uh, that should be correct no maybe not maybe one too many of those there we go and you can see that the math expression node has picked out um, stuff that's not a number so I've typed in HP I've typed in current level we could actually even, to make our code look a little bit tidier, just put in uh, CL. There we go. Looks a lot better now, doesn't it? Um, so we've got our health times by 4 divided by current level plus attack divided by defense plus 10. So simple. And we, as you can see on the right-hand side, it's provided all of those uh, references that don't add up to a number. And it's provided them here so we can plug some stuff in. Um, as an example, if I get... Um, now, obviously, you have to imagine I'm using my strut in this scenario. But if I had a float that was health, I could literally just plug it straight in. And same for my attack, my defense. And my current level in my instance is actually normally an integer. But you can actually change them to integers. So... We can also plug our current leveling because my current level sits as an integer. So using this, it will basically take these values that I'm plugging directly into the math node and output me a value. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's say our max health in this scenario is um, 22. And our attack is uh, our attack is 20, 24, and our defense is 13, and we are currently at the level of 5. What we can do now is um, just to test this. Uh, oh, I'm not going to be able to test this because it's not actually set to in our character. But um, the idea was I was going to test it to show you the value that comes out. And if you're finding you're getting decimals, you can literally just get around. And that will output you. It will output you an integer. You can always um, convert 
to um, convert, convert to float. So if you wanted to keep your figure as a float, you can literally convert it to a float. Um, it's what I do in my Pokemon clone code. Um, so the round, basically, if it was like uh, 1.6, for example, in the as it says in the description, 1.6, it would become 2. It rounds it up. Um, and if you want to round it down, I think you get a turn... Yes, so you use a floor. My apologies. I don't know why I struggled to think of what it was then. Um, but yeah, you use a floor, and that does the opposite. So if it was 1.6, it would become 1. So depending on whether you want to go higher or lower, I was up mine. So um, for all of my code, it goes from 1.6 to 2. So it always goes higher. So whatever this code comes out as, you will always get the higher value in my games. But um, you can always do it so you get the lower value if you want to. But it's always better to round or floor them because you'll get a more whole number. And whole numbers just work a little bit better when you're dealing with anything that um, kind of works with health and things like that. Um, yeah, hopefully this has been explained well. Uh, obviously this works for lots of different codes, so just try it out. I mean, it's general math stuff, so... You know, anything you're trying to work out. It works great for RPGs, great for um, sort of uh, MMO sort of style stuff as well. Um, Turn-based games work really well with math codes. You'll find you're using a lot of math for all those sort of games. Uh, you might not use them as much for things like FPSs. Um, or I don't think I'd even ever use one for strategy games and things like that. But definitely uh, your more RPG style games and your top down RTSs will probably use a lot of basic math as well to work things out. So hopefully you found this useful. If you have, hit that like button, leave a little comment with anything else you want explained. Uh, there is a few more episodes to come. I know there's been a few requests as well, which I will be covering as well. And uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. It's free to do and you can always change your mind uh, down the line. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.